Hey, look, a cool intro. What's up, guys? Larry here. I got a question from uh, one of the viewers on my last video on how to scale up the automated lighting system. And uh, I'm not really going to show you how to build it all over again, but uh, here's a little demonstration of what you can do uh, on a grander scale. So let's just have a look at the basic circuitry here. Um, it's the exact same build as the automatic light activator. So if you just watch that vid, it'll give you an idea. This is something else I added. Um, it's a door checker. So if you don't have the turrets, you're gonna die as soon as you hit that. So anyone door camping or trying to do anything cheeky is just gonna get messed up. Here's a manual activation switch for all the turrets around the base. So you turn that on, all the doors around the base open, and then it exposes all the turrets. That'll keep your base safe while you're smelting or whatever. And if somebody tries to grief your turrets or drain them, you can simply turn them off. So you can see an OR switch, which goes to the door to my right. That allows either OR the automatic pressure plate to open the door or the switch that I just showed you. Now you can turn off the pressure plate and just use the switch. If somebody's being annoying with it, then they won't be able to troll you. Um, having switches to open your main base is not really recommended because you don't actually need TC or code locks to open the doors. Um, I tried to demonstrate that with my, my friend, but um, yeah, it didn't work. Uh, just take my word for it. Uh, those pressure plates and whatnot, they will override any code lock that you have, so be careful where you put them. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it. Here's the grand scale automatic light system uh, with a little twist. I hope your compounds stay well lit and uh, enjoy the electricity update. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Cheers. See you next time.